There's a lot of people out there that believe the geologic column has been proven to be, you know, realistic and millions of years old as you go through the different layers. So let's talk about that. Can we discuss that real quick about uh, the geologic column? Good. There's a lot of confusion yes. out there on that. Does it exist? Does the geologic column actually exist anywhere? Uh, sure, it does. It exists in two places that I know of, okay. uh, textbooks and museums. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the two places you'll find the geologic column. So it, the geologic column that we had to learn in school, you had to memorize all the layers and then forget it the next day after you took the quiz, right? Unless you taught science like you guys. <laughs> um, all those layers, that layer, that in that order, that doesn't really exist uh, anywhere in the world except for textbooks, museums, places that show that diagram. Exactly, because you've you've got first of all, for Grand Canyon, for example, okay. there, it's a very prominent layering system that you can see. But when you actually map out the layers, there's huge time gaps in between the layers, oh. uh, typically hundreds of millions of years, where there was just zero deposition. That's because so of the erosion, man. Uh, it was, apparently, <laughs> that's a lot of erosion, because <laughs> uh, you've got 500 feet of one formation which you know was about 200 million years and then hundreds of millions of years is just gone totally absent, missing missing without a trace what do the evolutionists say about this how do they try to account for all the missing material there that that is exactly actually your answer was exactly what i got from uh, dr david corner when during my debate with him uh, he's a geology professor at northern arizona university and that was exactly what he said was the dirt's just spread out over nevada california etc it's just well, eroded with respect, no, it isn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> we don't see that, do we? So it, it, just, it just isn't. But it's, it's not just the missing time. We have literally hundreds and throughout North America. I've now gotten to st study seven of these locations out of hundreds. Um, uh, what we call, what geologists call overthrusts. Now, my question is, is it really an overthrust? Mm -hmm.